Hi, my name is Ryan Kelly. Uh, the book I chose to read was Juiced by Jose Canseco. It uh, was written by him as well. He's a former Oakland A's baseball player. Uh, the book basically talks about how he alleges that a number of players took steroids during the 1990s era. And uh, his credibility is kind of a uh, question for the simple fact that a lot of people know that he cried with before, so a lot of people don't tend to believe it. Uh, as far as the read, I kind of enjoyed it, kind of didn't. For the simple fact that I follow baseball, so I know that he isn't too, too good on telling the truth. Uh, so I recommend it if you are a baseball fan because the terminology is still correct. But uh, all in all, it was a if you read, and that was my book. Hi, my name is Kwame Howard, and my book is Barack Obama Dreams for My Father A Story of Race and Inheritance. And this is Barack Obama's first autobiography and also his first book where he goes generally memoirs. It's composed of different memories of his, of his childhood, and through different aspects of his life. Like when he lived in Chicago, Indonesia, his early life in Hawaii. And the book generally is completely honest and full credibility as Obama discusses every part of his life, even the dark stages, including a brief part in his life where he was on drugs. So after looking at that, I could honestly say that his whole book is not biased at all, and everything in there is honest, true, nothing false, and I recommend this book for anyone. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I read Three Weeks with my brother, by Nicholas Sparks. Um, this is his first memoir, um, nonfiction novel. By the title, some people will think, I first thought it was about um, Three Weeks with his brother only, but it's really about his um, his whole life from up to when he was in childhood up till present now. Um, he has two different themes. One of the themes is um, you'll have obstacles throughout your life, but in the end, like it'll all work out. Um, another one is not to uh, is to cherish the good times you have with your family and not take advantage of them because they'll always be there. Um, the book has a lot of flashbacks. It's not a typical nonfiction novel, so um, it's a good read. I really enjoyed it.